Hi loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to build a colorful handbag collection. This video is in collaboration with Claire Banks. She's another colorful handbag queen who has a beautiful collection all the way in the US. Over on her channel we've also done a collaboration where we show you how we style our similar bags in different ways. But in this video I'm going to use our similar bags to talk about some key points on how to build your colorful handbag collection. By the way if you're new here, hi my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion, and lifestyle so if that's your thing please subscribe and turn on notifications. I upload twice a week and I would love to have you here. And let's get into my tips for building a colorful handbag collection. In my first tip I want to talk about colorful investment handbag styles. This is my Chanel medium classic flap. It's from the year 2004 which Claire also has but she has it with the silver hardware. When you want to start looking at a colorful investment bag, that bag that goes up year after year, you're typically looking at Chanel or Hermes. And the shade in which you pick the color can make a huge difference. So both of our bags are considered one of the most desirable pinks in all of Chanel history of making bags. So this is a very hard bag to get your hands on and it means that it exceeds the retail price when you're buying it pre-loved. What's most important when you're buying a colorful investment bag is that you research into the exact collection, the exact shade, the exact hardware color, and the exact style. Because there are so many other styles from this same collection in the same color that do not resell as well. So if you are looking for a colorful investment bag, it's very good to compare on several pre-loved websites and Instagram sellers or wherever you're seeing the bag pop up and looking at those prices to see, you know, if this shade of blue is different from that shade of blue, how that affects the resale value. When it comes to colorful classic flaps, not every color resells at or above retail. And doing that research is very critical if you're going to start your colorful handbag collection with an investment bag. But overall, you don't have to buy your classics in neutrals. It's just not the case. Actually, this pink resells for more than a black classic flap would on the pre-love market. So if you buy the right colors in your investment bags, you can actually make a better investment than investing in neutrals. It's just about doing your research and knowing exactly what you're buying. My second tip is to look for that daily use bag that's your basic style in a beautiful colorway. So I went for the Neverfull, which was a bag I never thought I would go for, but it's a super practical bag, and a lot of people get the classic monogram because it's so timeless and goes with so much. For me in my wardrobe, this goes with more than if I would have brought the brown monogram Neverfull. Picking a bag that can fit that, you know, wear and tear, multi-use, travel, to school, from work, all of these different situations in a colorful style is a great way to add color to your daily wardrobe. Claire went for the equally as beautiful option. A good way to stand out and build color into your collection is to look for limited edition pieces like this. You won't see as many people carrying them, so it does make them more unique as well. And whichever style suits your catch-all type of bag needs, that's the style I would recommend going for. But the idea is to get that daily use bag in a more unique colorway to add more color to your collection. The next tip I have for you is don't throw practicality out the window. Practicality is different for each person. For me, I love a top handle style, so I went for this top handle style in this unique Valentino collection. But for Claire, practicality meant getting the shoulder bag style. Whatever is most practical for you is something to keep in mind when you're selecting a unique designer handbag to build your colorful collection. Designers often do these unique collections in multiple shapes. So rather than going for the most popular shape or the most in shape, Think about how you like to carry your bags and how you like to use your bags, and that's gonna make a better choice for keeping your bag in the long term. If I went for the same bag that Claire went for, I probably would use it a lot less than she does because I enjoy carrying my bags more on the crook of my arm or in my hand than I do on my shoulder. Just because it's beautiful doesn't mean it shouldn't be practical as well. My fourth tip for creating your colorful designer handbag collection is to consider 
whether a colorful bag or a neutral bag would suit your wardrobe more in that style. You guys know I love a colorful bag, but that doesn't mean I always choose color. For me, when I looked at this Prada Crystal Re-Edition, I found that the white version would actually suit a lot more in my wardrobe. I was on the wait list for both the pink and the white, but when I got the call that only the white came back in stock in the store, I was like, you know what, actually, I think it's going to be more practical. And sometimes choosing the neutral is okay. Now, Claire went for the beautiful pink version, and quite honestly, I adore that bag. If I didn't love this so much, I would have probably bought the pink as well. Thinking about how it plays with your clothes and either stands out from them or complements them and what you want to achieve with that handbag will really help you determine whether that style is right to be a colorful bag in your collection or a neutral. My fifth tip is to start mini. If you're afraid of color or you want to start with adding color in a small way, start with a mini bag. Mini bags are a great way to add color without it being overwhelming. Claire has the same mini. This shade of pink is much more wearable than my neon shade of pink. For me, what I wanted to achieve was a bright pop of color, something that really stands out, but I didn't necessarily want to go for a medium size in this color. So if there's a color that you really want in your wardrobe, but maybe you don't want to invest, you know, medium classic flat money in to it, going mini is also a great way to add a color that maybe you're not going to get daily use out of, but works with a section of your wardrobe. Like this is not going with every outfit in my wardrobe. Like it doesn't really pair with the sweater I'm wearing today, but this does work with a good number of outfits and for certain occasions in my wardrobe. The thing also about buying pinks or any color in particular is that the colors go in cycles. Sometimes bright colors are in trend. Sometimes lighter colors are on trend. Mine might be in fashion when hers is out and hers might be in fashion when mine is out and it's going to cycle through. Designers continue to cycle out different shades of the same color so that they have something new to sell you. So if you love the color and you could see using it long term, go for a little mini bag and hold on to it through that down cycle when it's not as popular. If you love the color and you know it's going to come back eventually and maybe you don't wear it as much for a certain amount of time, you will start wearing it again once the trend comes back around. That's a great thing about buying a mini size is that you haven't invested as much and it's still going to look great when the trend comes back around. Also much easier to pull off colors in a mini size because it's not as big and overwhelming. Keeping it mini has so many benefits when building your colorful collection. The last tip for building your colorful a collection is to look for bags that have a slight difference in each piece. When you have a colorful collection and your collection seems special, adding that special element can be even more difficult. Because for a lot of people, they have a neutral collection and their colorful bag is that special element. So when you're building a truly colorful collection and you're looking for a unicorn piece, going for a piece like this rainbow reissue is one where every single bag has a slightly different color variation, which means that it's as close to like a one-of-a-kind Chanel as you can get. There has the exact same bag that I have, but ours are going to look completely different because every bag from this collection has a slightly different variation of colors. Another great way to do this is to look for like limited edition artist pieces. Dior does this on their Lady Dior's and they do them in incredibly limited numbers. It's very, very rare that you're going to see someone with that same bag. So looking for artist collaborations, looking for pieces where it's like an ombre or a mix of colors where each piece is dyed slightly differently. We'll add that unicorn special piece and that will just give you just that extra little uniqueness in your colorful bag collection. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to head over to Claire's channel, which will be linked below, to check out our other video on how we style our colorful handbags differently. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my bags, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!